As you might have guessed, since I don't like anything, I don't like movie remakes. But, when it comes to remaking an old movie for modern audiences, I at least understand the point, even if I don't think it's necessary. No matter how good the story is and how good the effects were for the time, sci-fi classics like The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Time Machine, or War of the Worlds are hard to watch now because they end up looking cheesy compared to today's standards. But they almost always screw the remake up by just slapping some big name in the starring role and hoping that'll sell instead of, you know, actually attempting to improve on the story or even just leaving shit alone and redoing the fucking script word for word and just making the effects better, which would have probably made the remake somewhat decent, but maybe that's too close to just flat out admitting that they've run out of original ideas. But here's what pisses me off even more, and it's not really the film studio's fault, but the ignorance of North American people. It's Western adaptations. Movies that were just made in a different country less than a few years ago, and they decide to remake the fucker now. As I write this, for example, David Fincher's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo was released in theaters two weeks ago, and I guess it's doing alright, I haven't seen it, but I've heard decent things, but the original was only released three years ago in Denmark. So why did they have to do a remake instead of just release the original here? Guess why? Because it's not in English and dumb fuck North Americans make ridiculous statements like, Duh, I'm not gonna read the movie, might as well read the book, that's stupid. You're stupid. First off, it's not like reading the book. If the movie is based on a book, the book could be anywhere from 200 to 800 or more pages, it takes the average person about 4 to 16 hours to read if you can read 50 pages an hour. This is a movie, it takes like 2 hours to watch. The other argument is, but while well, I'm reading, I'm gonna miss something. Action sequences don't normally have a ton of dialogue, so you're not gonna miss anything there, and also, are you just that slow? How long does it take you to read a sentence? Either way, this is just laziness on the North American public's part, and this leads to these unnecessary remakes. Did you know, if you liked the girl with the dragon tattoo, that you could watch the entire trilogy already if you weren't a slack fuck? They're already out in Denmark and on DVD here. The most pointless remakes are when the director remakes the same movie, just in two different languages. For example, Michael Haneke's Funny Games and Gela Babluani's 13 Zametti were remade almost shot for shot, and in the case of Funny Games, exactly shot for shot, with only a few years separating the original and the remake. All because we're basically perceived as a lazy or illiterate culture, and let's face it, we are. Do you think other countries are doing remakes of American movies because they don't want to have to read subtitles? No, they just watch it, or say fuck it and make better movies anyway. There's a number of movies you might not even know were remakes. Did you know The Departed was a remake of Infernal Affairs? That's right, and Martin Scorsese won an Oscar for Best Director for The Departed. He just said it in Boston instead of Hong Kong, left all the same twists, the same characters, everything, and that wins an Academy Award? Jesus fucking Christ, someone give me the rights to remake Old Boy quickly so I can win an Oscar. Oh wait, they already gave it to Spike Lee. Yeah, it's not gonna be a terrible fucking movie. So, if you're one of these people who doesn't want to watch a movie because it's in a different language, grow the fuck up. You're missing out on some of the best cinema in the world because you've decided to confine yourself to whatever the US deems us worthy of viewing. You're missing out on Old Boy, City of God, Battle Royale, The Bothersome Man, I Saw the Devil, Pan's Labyrinth, and so many other great movies just because you don't want to done read no words while watching the pictures. And you're the reason these useless remakes get made.